I mean, really, this guy, I've never met more of a keyboard warrior with uh, the, the shield of a keyboard actually imprinted on his arm and the sword that is a limp mouse that is everything that represents him. I mean, to explain to him, to explain to him and most of you how, how little you actually know, I'd have to unteach you what you think you know now, reteach you what you should have known then, and then st still tell you why you're still wrong about all of these matches. All of your complaints are, it's too long, it's boring. You don't understand. You don't understand what you're watching. It's a shame. All right, so three major points that we want to hit on with this match. First of all, none of you mentioned the fact that Dean Ambrose actually pinched Triple H's nose in the opening about five minutes, and that was fantastic. I mean, it's the biggest target on Triple H, and he went right for it, and it, it, it got a huge interaction with the crowd. The next thing is the false finish. The false finish was beautiful. And I mean, it is in fact a rule. Your feet can't be on the ropes to gain leverage and you can't be out of bounds to actually count a pin. I mean, it's just that simple. Anytime that, uh, well, I've ever obviously never broken a rule, but anytime I see someone put their feet up on the ropes, the, the, the count stops because they're using it for leverage. So if you put your feet out of bounds, it's also a rule. That's, always been the case it's always been it's the case in collegiate wrestling and greco-roman mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh in mma i mean it's the case in every you can't hold on to the cage in mixed martial arts so you can't have your feet under the ropes and it was so beautiful because it was just it was just one mistake that dean made it was just one mistake he made one mistake and then he makes his next mistake by he he this is dean's biggest problem and now john moxley for those of you who don't know Dean's biggest problem is throwing caution to the wind and trying to throw his body uh, into peril to try and win. And it didn't work out for him because he elbow drops Triple H through the table on the outside, a just and well executed. And it was done exactly right. The problem is it shouldn't have been done in the first place. And then it cost him the match right after that. That is where the crowd arguably was right at their peak we you had uh you had dirty deeds and that that might be the peak if not then the elbow dropped through a table because the crowd will always react when someone goes through a table much you know uh, kind of like uh lemmings you know, you can kind of guess exactly what they're, <laughs> they're going to do um and then right after that triple h hits the pedigree um but dean ambrose won he won at one point. He pinned Triple H with his finishing maneuver, and that makes Dean. You know, that is a stepping stone. Someone said, uh, I forget who said it, but that this was the hottest. This was the peak Dean Ambrose. I absolutely disagree because he then later won the WWE Championship, and he ran SmackDown for several months, uh, feuding with AJ Styles and Chris Jericho and doing a wonderful job over there running shop where he, you know, trimmed the fat. He figured out what he needed to, to do in order to, to be on the top. And then he was on top. <sighs> Going back to uh, Mad Mike, is that his name? Yeah. He's certainly mad. Yeah. He's certainly mad. He's mad because he's insane that he doesn't understand how good this match is and how good these assignments are. A string of good assignments. All of the assignments have been good. And that's going to round me right out.